Here we are. Oh yeah. Friday, June uh, <laughs> 18th. Okay. Friday. Lots of guys here because it's the first day where the surf was brought down. So, yeah. A whole lot of other guys out there, but I'll be out there very soon. Out to the big fishing grounds. Huh. Anyway, very small surf. Very nice and flat. Let's enjoy the day. Look at the size of this greenback. There it goes. Huge. A little too big for me. It's a whole bunch over here. It's good. So we've been searching for bait everywhere. And way up here there's a whole bunch of pelicans over there in some way behind us. I kind of drifted away from them now. Got a live mac on there. A bunch more in here. I took that one video of that one guy that was huge. Some good size greenbacks in there. Put one of the nice, good size ones on there. Not the huge one, but that huge, longest one. I let go today. I'm not going to be out deep enough. Otherwise, I'd be tempted if I was a little deeper right now. I'm covering still very shallow water. 45 feet I've drifted to. I'm trying to stay around, you know, while I'm looking for marks, you know, trying to see that where the hell are the fish. Anyway, couldn't, it was funny. I saw some marks over by Blacks. There were two guys on Hobies there, but it just it wasn't panning out. I even even saw some marks that looked like they could have been yellows directly under me. And I threw a bunch of the cold sniper a bunch and didn't really get anything. No reaction. So anyway, but every once in a while we see some decent marks. I see here some marks that are starting to show up here, but don't don't know what they always are. But there's something bigger, see, drifting right there at 30 feet. And it's kind of like going by, and there's another thing. And then sometimes there's a lot of broken up kelp. I didn't even know there was bull kelp anywhere out here because it must be deeper. Uh, but anyway, it's probably because the bridal was here and he was probably with his net. That's how it all messed up everything. So something's going. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, mama. It's on. It's on, baby. Is this strong max max drag there get some line back pulling like the right kind New line. I'm getting some line anyway. Long way to go. He, he took an awful lot of line. In the beginning, I gave him a little bit too much to begin with. Should have set the drag on sooner. I 
think it'll start pulling harder once it realizes it's getting close to so Thirty-six feet of water now. He pulled me in. Shallower. That was around fifty. Same as the times before. Just looked, trying to see if we had any marks, and then all of a sudden, started drifting. And next thing you'll see, there's some marks, something. Wrecking phone call. Getting it. Feels like it's a yellow. I saw color. Maybe not. this might just be the sky. <laughs> He's a biggie.
that was good. <laughs> that was the first bad gap and I don't know how long. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, June 18th. Valerie thought it was the 18th, or she thought today was the 16th, my birthday. So I said, no, but thank you, it must have been the sentiment, because as soon as I hung up and texted her, she was wrong because she wished I had caught something, all of a sudden my clicker takes off and goes and I let it have a lot of line, too much line, it took it forever to bring it back. But that's the first big yellow tail on that rod with that reel. I bought that one just for light, much lighter stuff. It wasn't even supposed to be for those days. It was for an all-purpose, for throwing for bonitos and you name it. So that was cool, because this could be a new personal best. It, uh, I think the tail's sticking out a little bit more, just a tad, not by much, maybe a pound or two, if that. We'll see. When I get, I'm not trying to weigh it in the water. <laughs> I don't have that kind of a balance to try to hold that much weight and balance here in this stuff, which is getting very choppy. The wind has gotten a lot worse. I'm just going to start hitting back. But <laughs> how cool. 